friends and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up my budget for the month of June. And I'm so excited because this is the first month where I am a month ahead. So um, we have two budgets essentially. We have David's paycheck. He's paid once a month at the beginning of the month and it covers most of our fixed expenses. And then we had my paycheck, which is a combination of a bunch of sources. It's variable uh, <laughs> and I'm paid week to week. So we saved up last month so that we could be a month ahead. And if you wanna see how we did that, check out yesterday's video where I did my final cash envelope stuffing and I go into detail about how we were, um, how like where all the cash is going for each category, if you want more detail about that. But anyways, um, so that's what we're doing today. I'm super excited. We also have the, um, the new uh, budget category stickers, the always, available stickers that I'm going to use today so that's exciting. One thing I wanted to tell you is we are, I am not doing a Q&A section at the end of this video. Um, uh, so if you asked a question in yesterday's video or the video from the day before yesterday, those questions will be answered in next week's video. Whew. Okay, let's jump in and get this set up. I'm so excited. Okay, so I just wanted to start by showing you the stickers that I'm going to be using today. First of all, I'm using the 8.5 by 11 budget kit for my shop, which includes the dashboard, oops, <laughs> the dashboard kit. Um, it includes five expense trackers and six budget headers, a monthly spread with the date dots, this, is, this pattern, by the way, is June 323. I love this pattern, it is so much fun. And then this is an add-on, and I need to use it because I'm now gonna be doing a weekly check-in for some variable ex some of the variable expenses. So um, that's what this is, it's an add-on, and it's called the weekly check-in. I'm also using the June sticker and the, from the Gen Plans font in the, um, it's, it's the extra large size, which is a 63-point font. As far as the black and white stickers go, I just needed one budget sheet, page one, for David's paycheck. And then for my paycheck, I'm using uh, page one, two, and three of the budget kit, the black and white budget kit. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So I have the new always available budget category stickers. So the current budget category stickers I have, they match with all of the different patterns that come out each month, but those are only available for a short period of time because I do retire patterns regularly. And when they're retired, the budget category stickers that coordinate with those patterns are also retired. So now I have some always available budget category stickers and the colors I'm gonna be using is pink two, purple one, blue one, green two, yellow two, orange one, blue two, and red. I just have one shade of red. I tried to do two shades of red, but it was extremely difficult. <laughs> Red's a hard color to do in shades. So um, I do have, I think, 14 different colors available. So if you wanna head over to my Etsy shop and check that out, don't forget there's a link in the description box below. Uh, to my Etsy shop as well as a discount code for all of my YouTube viewers. But those are the budget category stickers I'll be using from now on. And then finally, I am also using a savings challenge uh, kit. Uh, I decided to go with the cash, the savings, the cash one. I think it's called, yeah, the money, money, money one. So I have the black and white page and then the colored page. So we're gonna get that all set up because we are starting a new savings challenge uh, this month. So I'm gonna go ahead Get everything set up to music and I will meet you back here when it's all set up.
Okay, so here is the monthly layout with the Eat the Budget category key on the edge here. Um, I categorize each of my budget categories by color, so that's going to help me remember what color goes with which category throughout the month. I decided I don't need to use this page, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Here is the dashboard all set up and ready to go. This is where I'm going to put the budget that we're going to set up using David's paycheck, and then this is where I'm going to put the budget that we're going to um, set up using my paycheck. So we have two budgets. Uh, going forward, I might put all this together into one budget, but for right now, I just need to keep it separate just to, that's the way my brain is working right now. I'm thinking of it as separate budget, so I want to keep it separate, at least for this month. Then I did put down four expense trackers. So that's one expense tracker for every week of this month. And then I put down a weekly check-in. Each week we need to check in on how much we spent in f for food gas and miscellaneous. I also wrote down the date range just to make sure that it's just a four week month and not a five week month. And then back in the notes section, I did um, set up the new savings challenge. So let's just go ahead and do this now. So it says, what are you saving for? We're saving for the thousand dollar cushion. How much would you like to save? We would like to save a thousand dollars. And then how much is each of these uh, pictures worth? So each, each set of dollar bills here, for me, is going to be worth $20. So each row is worth $200. And all together, this is worth $1,000. So we're going to go ahead and fill in the ones we already have. So we did have some cushion left, plus we had a little bit of extra money from David's paycheck last month. So we're starting out this savings challenge with $400. So we already have $400. I'm just gonna quickly lay down the um, dollar bills here. Okay, so there we are. And um, but what I'm going to, how I'm gonna fill this at this point in time right now is just any extra money we have at the end of the month, it's gonna go straight towards this savings challenge of, of um, this $1,000 cushion. Okay, so let's go back to the budgets and get those set up. Okay, so we're starting with David's paycheck. So he's paid once a month at the beginning of the month and he has paid a fixed amount of 21.28. So we're going to have a total of $21.28 to work with. And his paycheck covers most of our fixed expenses. So for us, that is mortgage, state farm, garbage, Alliant Energy, which is the gas for our house, Metronet, which is the internet for our house, Google Fi, Ames, which is um, the city where we live, and this covers water and electricity, and SUV, which is our car payment. Okay, so we're going to put we're going to pay thirteen thirty five towards mortgage, one thirty two to State Farm, twenty dollars to garbage, forty dollars to Alliant Energy, ninety nine dollars to MetroNet. $83 to Google Fi, $291 to the city of Ames, and $118 towards our SUV. So all together, that comes to $21,18. So we actually should be above budget by, um, we should have an extra $10 at the end of the month. Um, some of these do vary a little bit, so there might, be a, there might be a little bit of variation and that number might be different, but for the most part, this is a fixed budget. Okay, moving over to my side. So my income is variable, but we are currently a month ahead. And what that means is I have the cash currently in my bank account that's gonna cover all of these expenses that I'm going to write down today. And if you'd like to see how I did that, check out yesterday's video where I did my last, last cash envelope stuffing for the month of May. Okay, so, 
This is my paycheck, and I I was able to save eight, 18, <laughs> and I was able to save one thousand eight hundred and seventy two dollars to to do our month ahead um, for our variable expenses. So we're going to have eighteen seventy two to work with this month. So starting with our sinking funds, we have our Amazon annual membership. We have our car registration. Christmas, our annual Sam's Club membership, car maintenance, and our vacation. Okay, so this month, and we already stuffed these yesterday if you want to see that video, we were able to put $10 towards Amazon, we put $20 in car registration, $16 in Christmas, 13 towards our Sam's Club membership, $40 in the car maintenance envelope, and then finally we were able to put $100 towards our vacation. So altogether that was $199. So 1872 minus 199 is 1673. Okay, coming up here to fixed expenses. So like I said, David's paycheck covers almost all of our fixed expenses except for one bill. So we cover that with my paycheck, and that is loan number two. It's a pretty big one. We need to pay 568 to this um, bill this month, and that's it. So our subtotal is 568. So 1673 minus 568 is 1105. And I'm gonna bring that down here to our variable expenses. So for our variable expenses, we have food, gas, miscellaneous and spending. So food, we have a budget of $725 to work with this month. For gas, we have a budget of $80. For miscellaneous, we have a budget of $100. So each week we're gonna come in and we're gonna see how much of that we've actually spent. And that's, we're gonna record that here in the weekly check-in. For spending money, we get $200 total. So that's 40 for Logan, 80 for David, and 80 for me. So I went ahead and give that, gave that to all of us. Um, so we're all caught up there, but we'll actually, we'll do that when we do the check-in. <laughs> so we've already covered this, we've already covered this, but um, yeah, we'll update that when we do our first check-in next week. Okay, for savings, so our goal is the $1,000 cushion, but, um, I'm, what I'm gonna budget is zero dollars, but we might be able to actually put some money in there this um, month. We'll have to see if how everything works out. Like for example, if we don't spend as much on food, then all of that will go to the thousand dollar cushion, for example. Okay, so we have our budget set up. I think that's it. Oh, I'm so excited to come back next week and do this weekly check-in and see how we're doing. And um, yeah. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I will see you all again next time. Bye everyone. Hey, I wish you could see yourself.